Hi everyone, my name is Jack Williamson and today I'm going to be talking about the best way to clean up a bagpipe chainer when the tape has gone all gunky and sticky and is no longer holding its place. So for this, you're going to need your bagpipe chainer itself. This has the old tape on it still. You're going to need a paper towel. I'm going to be using roughly two of these rectangular sheets, but it's good to have an extra. And believe it or not, we're going to be using olive oil as our means to get the gunk off the chainer. Another good thing to have on hand, although it's not entirely necessary, is a pipe cleaner, just like what your kids might be using for crafts. Um, I bend this in half just to make it a little bit thicker, and then we'll get right into it. So the first step in cleaning off your chainer is to get the old tape off. If you're going to be using the same reed that this tape was sort of set in place for, you're going to want to take a picture, but this chainer, the tape is just all kinds of different slidey, um, there's no way that it would hold up and I'm putting a new read in this chainer. So I'm just going to entirely replace the tape. So the first step is to get the old tape off. For all kinds of reasons why you might retape your chainer, number one being uh, the tape is just starting to fail. So this can happen over time or especially in the heat um, over summer. Most of our games are going to be in summer. So the heat will cause the adhesive to loosen up. Another really good reason that I would use to change a tape is when you're putting in a new reed and you want to set up a new reed with fresh tape that way you're not fighting the tape while you're trying to get your reed to settle down. So now that we've got all the old tape off of our chainer we're going to take one of our rectangles and fold it up until it's a manageable size generally into quarters or eighths and I'm going to take the olive oil and stop it off with the paper towel and then sort of soak the olive oil into the paper towel, doing my best not to make a mess. And so what that gives you is this spot of oil. And when you take your channer and sort of wrap it around and just twist it, what this does is it loosens up all the old gunk off of the channer. So I've done the top hand here and you can see that the gunk is starting to come off. I'm not done yet, but the bottom hand you can see was pretty seriously gunked up. So we're just going to take the oil and sort of twist the chainer through the paper towel. So there are some better products to use for this process. Uh, maybe work a bit faster. How it like lemon oil, for example, uh, you can get those pipe cleanse products. However, I found that those, I mean, I never keep those around and whatever I do, I lose them. But most people are going to have olive oil in their houses. So aside from the channer being greasy and oily now, we've gotten all the gunk off the channer. So maybe just a tiny bit there, but I will go over that again. So the way to get the olive oil off of your channer now is if you get those moist towelettes or alcohol wipes when you go out to eat in the little disposable packages, those are incredibly handy for this. So kind of borrow a handful of those and stick them somewhere. But I like to take just a, nu a new, fresh, clean paper towel and basically do the same thing. And what this will do is grab the oil from the surface of the channer and the paper towel will retain it without sort of putting more of the oil onto the channer. You want to go until you don't feel oily fingers after you're touching the channer. That way the, channer, the new channer tape is going to stick really well. But otherwise, we're about done with this. So all the tape gunk is off the channer. Next step is just some tidying up to make sure we get all the the detritus from the holes and the reed seat. So this step is where this pipe cleaner comes in. Uh, I have found that most of the brushes that you can get don't really fit very well into the reed seat of the channer. So we're just gonna carefully stick this into the channer like we would a reed. And these get surprisingly dirty. So if you're thinking about it, the I mean, all of the air that goes through your channel read is going through this hole. So there's all kinds of gross stuff in there. But now that we've knocked that loose, just I would recommend going into each finger hole 
don't go crazy. We're not trying to carve the hole at all. We're just trying to clean the hole and make sure that dead skin, dirt, dust, oil, channer gunk is not going to prevent our channer from sounding accurately and correctly. So now that we've done that, our channer is nice and clean and we are good to go with some fresh tape.